Anthony was diagnosed with leukemia in July of 2011. Um, we happened to be living, we were living in Florida at the time, so he was seen at the University of Florida in Gainesville, where he was carefully watched and as he underwent lots of intense, harsh treatment um, for his strain of leukemia, um, 18 months of a good chunk of inpatient treatment. So that was hard. Anthony had just finished kindergarten after he was diagnosed, and his little sister was three at the time. And to have everything just change in a matter of a day, basically. Yeah. Um, being in Florida, we didn't have family nearby. We, we had to rely on the kindness of people we didn't know a whole lot at the time to step in to become caregivers for her and caregivers for the family, um, cook meals when I wasn't there and just kind of hold it together for us. Um, initially in the beginning, after about six months, you finally kind of get a, I kind of got a hang of this, mm -hmm. um, but there's always hiccups in the road and unplanned emergency trips. We, we used football to kind of keep it together. He, um, we'd watch any Sunday games that we could get down south. Luckily, you know, Packers are a good team, so a lot of television coverage even down there. Um, but we would sit in the, in the family room outside the nurse's station and have every TV on that we could with different games. By Thursday, he had the doctors in his room making bets, <laughs> talking who's got what plays, you know, who's playing who, um, talking about the stats. He watched the sports center every morning to get the wrap of what was coming up. Um, and then come Monday morning, round, first round was, the doctors looked forward to seeing him because he had, did you watch this game? Did you see that play? And it was, that was cool. It made, I think, it made his days a little bit less intense. But once he got through that, we made a move and now we're up in Wisconsin. And, um, and we are really enjoying being up here with this hospital, knowing how great and even how big it is, but how welcoming it is for the size. The staff that work there are phenomenal. Um, you have great people that are doing a lot of good and making, I think, everybody feel a little bit more comfortable in an uncomfortable situation.